Yes, good. So I want to show you how to handle it when something just kind of happens in the environment. This is part of what I wanted to show you with this video. These videos today is just if you're doing stuff and um, she's off doing her own thing and then something happens, um, how do you handle it? So this is a, a good time to carry some treats or have them kind of positioned around the house and you want to have the really good ones um, available. It could be, you know, your ZB Peak, your string cheese, something that really stands out as special. So let's say we're here and I'm doing other things and she's gone off and started to do her own thing. And uh, then I'm going to play the TV here. Okay, so this is a good opportunity to, to see the difference between, um, I don't think she's going to do it, but, oh yeah, she is. Okay, so this is um, making noises. Let's say she escalated to barking. This is making noises because she wants something. Okay, you see she's staring at me. She's like, what about this? What about this? She's throwing out some sounds. And that is barking because she's thinking what's going to get me a treat. That's very different. Yes. Good girl. Search. That's different than barking because um, something is stressing her out, okay? So when she's barking because she wants something, you can see her ears are kind of perked up, her eyes are big, like she's her, her tail is a little softer, like she's kind of looking at you like, what's it gonna take to get a treat? And when it's that um, stress barking, like I'm barking because something's stressing me out, that's a barking where the whole body is stiff, everything's forward, it's like, oh my God, uh, stranger danger and so it's a different kind of barking so you want to completely ignore um, this barking where it's like a demand barking of any kind and then when there's a stress barking yes good and what I just rewarded for was she walked over looked at the TV and then just instantly walked away from it so that was a really good choice she was able to make a choice and it was a good choice <clears throat> so now I'm going to pause the video for a little bit let her wander away and do something else, and then we'll simulate some random noise happening in the environment. All right, so now I am off doing my own thing. I've been ignoring her for a little bit. So we're going to simulate what it's like when just out of nowhere, something triggering happens in the environment. Let's say I don't notice. Yes, oh, good girl, that's so exciting. Good job. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, yes, good. Oh, Polly, that is exciting, good. It's great when the dog cries on TV. We love that, that's some good stuff. Yes, good girl, oh, good girl. So this is simulating, let's say there's a dog outside, it's barking, there's nothing you can do about it. Yes, good, we wanna throw a party. This is awesome, best thing ever. Yes, good, good. We love it when the dog is barking outside or when the deer walks by. We love it when that stuff happens. Yes, oh, good, yay. Okay, then I'm gonna make it stop. And all the good stuff goes away. I go back to doing what I'm doing, completely ignore her. So what you're doing is Animal walks by, oops, sorry. Animal walks by, dog barks, whatever it is that she finds triggering. When that happens, throw a party. Best thing ever, love it. Can't wait for the animals to walk by. This is fantastic. And then as soon as it goes away, um, you see her kind of stop looking um, when, you know, after she's gotten her treats, as soon as it's gone away, then all the good stuff stops. So what you're doing is making a connection between that thing comes and amazing things happen, that thing leaves and all the good stuff stops. So you're trying to make those things seem awesome instead of scary, okay? So sometimes when we can control things like turning the TV on and off, we're gonna do that. We're gonna control the environment where we can, but it's also important to be able to practice and know how to handle it when you have a lot of stuff in your environment that happens that you have no control over, what animals walk by, what dogs walk by, whatever it is that she finds in your environment that's triggering that you can't stop, you have to be able to have a plan so that you can just make it a party. So when those things happen, make it a party. 
okay? And as soon as those things go away, the party stops, it's boring. And you will see she will start to feel better and happier, like maybe she hears something outside and she looks to you and gets all excited. And you can go ahead and reward that too. So you're making a better connection and that's how you're gonna to start to know she feels better. And when she feels better about those things, she's not gonna be barking because she's not gonna find them stressful. So ideally, she might um, either not respond at all to the things in the environment because they're so not stressful, or maybe she just looks up kind of calmly, goes, oh, there's a noise, and then is able to just move on with her life. That's ideal. That's when you know that she's maybe um, acknowledge that there's something there, but it doesn't bother her anymore. And that's what you're looking for. Right now, you can see that still bothered her, but she was able to um, work through it. We were able to make it connect a good enough connection that um, she was able to come off of it when I said yes, or, or she was able to take the treats. Sometimes they get so over the top that they can't even take treats anymore. They're just in such a, such a over the top state that they can't even think about food. So you probably won't have as much of that at your house. Just Polly, come here, where are you gonna go? You probably won't have as much of that at your house because a lot of that's happening outside and so there's not um, as much visual stimulation, but um, sometimes that might happen. So you're just gonna have to try to clap, get her attention, uh, you know, see what you can do, try to go get some better treats and just do everything that you can to pull out of that situation. Um, but right now you could see she was obviously um, stressed. She ran over to the TV, she was barking. It was very forward intense posture, but she was still, because of what we've been working on, able to go, oh, oh, and snap herself out of it. Okay, now we're gonna simulate that happening again. Yes, good, that's so exciting. So I don't want to ideally wait, yes, until she has a barking reaction. If I can be a little bit faster when I see her kind of looking up, yes. Good Polly, oh, it's so good. That's the best. But I wanted to show you what it looks like in different scenarios because you're not always gonna have your eyes on her. Face, go away, please. Face, go. You're not always gonna have your eyes on her. Yes, good. And um, sometimes she's gonna have a, a barking flip out episode because maybe she's in another room or something happens and you're not prepared. So I wanna show you how that looks with different things. Ideally, if you see her kind of perk up like that, go, oh, that's great, because she's hearing something outside, but she's not over the top. Um, she can still kind of process. So make a good connection. If you see her go, what's that? You go, oh, that's something great. This is good. And you don't have to have treats immediately on you. You can say yes, and then go get some treats. The the, the idea, what you want to get out fast is that word that says, hey, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, this means a party's about to happen. You want to get that word out first, and then that buys you some time to get the treats if you don't have some, okay? So I wanted you to see what do you do if you're, um, she's kind of in another room or you're not paying attention to her and she's in full on um, crazy bark episode before you even notice what's happening. That's how you just have to go, you have to see if you can get her attention go like, yes, oh my God, party, this is great, fantastic. Um, if she doesn't respond to that, go grab your treats, get over right in her face with them and oh, this is great and throw a party. So you need to make it happy. She's stressed out, you need to go, no, this is not stressful, this is happy, this is the best thing ever, we love it when this happens. If you are more prepared, you are sitting in the room with her um, and you notice her go, what's that? You go, oh yes, I bet that's something great outside. That is fantastic. Look, I bet it's a, we love deer, fox, whatever goes by the house, that's great. And you'll see her start to go like, ooh. And maybe even what she'll do is um, she'll hear something outside and then go, hey mom, did you hear that? This is great, a deer's walking by. Okay, and you'll start to see her um, a feel good response when she hears something outside, okay? So I wanted to show you the difference if you, if she's in full on over the top barking episode before you notice anything's happening um, or if you can catch her when she's first at that spot where she goes like, what was that? Okay, so we're gonna do it one more time. So let's say I catch her, yes, oh, look at that. That was a dog barking. We love dogs barking. Happy voice, yay, that was so fun. There I caught her before she was in full on flip out mode. That was a middle ground. That was where she had started to escalate. She kind of ran over there, head up. 
but she wasn't in full on barking um, charge mode, you know, jumping at the TV. Okay, so that was kind of the middle ground. And um, then my ideal is maybe where she, because oftentimes you're not even going to necessarily hear what's happening. The only way that you're going to know is that she looks and then, and then it's kind of like you see her head go up and then all of a sudden you know that there's some sort of sound. Go ahead. So there she calmed herself down and this is one of the first times that she's applied that after all this stuff going on. No, uh, no leash, no towel, nothing. So I want to reward that because that's her starting to bring herself down. And that's your ideal is that with none of the props or anything, she goes, Hey, I'd really like to feel a little bit calmer right now. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down and put my head down. So I paid a little extra for that because it was the first time she's done that, but that is awesome. And you want to pay attention to that and reward that, especially when she does that right after something that was a bit stressful. If she does that, that's her really starting to figure out how to manage her own body and regulate things herself. And you want to reward that. And um, as you practice the relaxation stuff, you're going to see her start to throw it out there more and more because it feels good to not feel stressed. Good. Good. So now she's starting to throw out a bit of that relaxation. So I'll just toss a treat for the first time she puts her head down. And then if she keeps it down for a little bit, like 10, 15 seconds, I will give her a treat. And again, I want to work up to about 20 to 30 seconds because that's where that real relaxation happens. But since this is the first time she's really starting to throw it out on her own after a stressful situation like that, I'm going to reward a couple of those shorter ones too, um, which I did. I don't want to do too many of those because uh, then what happens is they just kind of stay in, in ready mode, anticipating the treat. So I want to really quickly move to that um, where it's longer. So 10 seconds. And then uh, when she's doing pretty well with that, move quickly move up to the 20 to 30 seconds. I don't know if you can see right now, but her eyes are starting to blink and her body's a little softer. She's still kind of, her eyeballs are darting around a little bit, but she's starting to come down, which is great. So I'm going to do just a little bit longer and you'll find it feels better to feel relaxed. They don't want to feel over the top like that. So when you start seeing, um, I probably missed an opportunity there on her to reward a little bit earlier, but that's okay. Cause what she did is she's, um, going right back down to it. So you'll find she's going to start wanting to do this more as she gets used to it. And, uh, and so you want to reward that to encourage her to bring herself back down. Okay, so I, I missed a few opportunities since this is a new thing for her to do this just kind of on her own. I probably should have rewarded maybe one or two more at the 15 second mark. Good. But you can see we've done enough practice with this now that she put herself right back down into the settle. <clears throat> you really want to go into that um, as soon as you can go into that 20 to 30 second um, between rewards because that's where that real relaxation happens. And now you can see she, she got up and came over. That's because I'm this I'm using the Zwi Peak for the first time for this. And so that's a little bit more exciting. And exciting can be um, exciting in a, you know, like a good excitement. Exciting can be a stressed excitement. It kind of operates on the body the same. So she's over here and she's a little bit more alert right now, although she still has kind of a sleepy look in her eyes. But I want her to see that even when you're excited about something good, the way that you can get that treat, if I'm not um, looking at you and talking to you and asking you to, to touch my hand or, or shake or speak or whatever it is I'm asking you to do, then I just, your default, if you don't know what else to do, just calm down and lay down. It's kind of in that, like uh, going into a, like a standby mode. Good. So you can see after she was up and staring at me and a little bit more alert, I went, as soon as she settled herself back down, I rewarded her that because I really want her to understand this is your default mode. This is your standby mode. When you don't know what else to do, just, uh, just calm down. If I'm not talking to you, paying attention to you, asking you to do something, just relax, hang out. Good. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Good. Yay. Oh, fun. So fun. What you saw there. Yay. Fun, Polly. Yay. So good. 
What you saw there was a dog barking outside. That's why she leaped up like that. They happened to be having some treats. Yay! And so I just threw a party. This is great. We love it when the dogs bark outside. Best thing ever. Best thing that could possibly happen to you. So that was an opportunity to make a connection between a dog barking and something great happening in the middle of what we were trying to do with the relaxation. Yay, Polly! Oh, so good! Polly, we love it! Dogs barking are the best! Yay! Yes, good! Oh, so good! Now she's starting to be able to think. You, I don't know if you saw her. I'm going to wait. Yes, good! Now she's starting to be able to make choices to look back at me. So as soon as I see her start thinking, yes, I'm going to reward her for a thinking behavior. In the beginning, you saw it was just a reaction. She didn't think about like, oh, a dog barked. I should get up and run over there and check it out. It was just like, oh my God, wild, crazy things are happening. Good. And if she stays looking at me, I'll go ahead and give her a treat for that. Yes, good. And that was something I had no control over. I don't know if that dog's going to bark, stay barking, whatever. So now she's back into thinking mode. There's nothing happening outside. She's not looking back over there and checking in. So now I'm going to wait for her to settle down. Okay, so turn off. And you can see that when something is going on outside, I'm going to just throw a party and make connections. That's awesome. We love it. But as soon as all that stops, then the next thing that you need to do is just calm down. You have to teach them to turn off and that you want them to turn off because right now she's in on mode. She's like, what do you want? And she's going to start pushing buttons. You know, like, do I bark? Do I paw? What do I do? Because go good things only happen when I have your attention right now. And so what I want to teach her is that um, good things happen when you just calm down, settle down, and relax. Yay! Yes, Polly! Good girl! This is fun! Dogs barking are the best! Yay! So dog barked outside, throw a party. Okay, she's in thinking mode. Yes! Good. Dog stopped barking, which is why she's like kind of looking and then she's able to look back at me. So the dog's not barking anymore. So I'm going to see if she'll put herself back in a subtle face. Can you go away, please? Face, go. Thank you. Good face, go get it. So all the, the outside stressors have stopped. So I'm going to see if she can calm herself down and turn off. And this is the first time I'm using the ZB Peak, which is a more exciting treat. So she's more excited. Um, I would normally, for relaxation, use your kibble. But if you're doing stuff like this where you're adding triggers and you're trying to make really good connections, you want to bust out your good stuff. So this is just what I happen to have right now. Yay! Good! Oh! Dog bark! Best thing! Woohoo! Dog barks. Okay, so the dog's not barking. See if she'll look back. Yes, good. Dog's barking. Yes. Now she's thinking again. Yes! Polly, so good! Yay! That was the dog barking. So I'm going to make a great thing happen. And that's the dog outside. Face go. I have no control over what that dog does, so I just have to manage the, react the response to it for her. Yes. There, she's thinking. Dog isn't barking anymore. Yes, Polly! Oh, so good! So good! Dog barked. And she went outside. 